There has been one of the biggest humanitarian crises since the Second World War, since Russia invaded Ukraine. Aside from bringing one of the most influential figures in international politics into the spotlight, the invasion brought the hard-man leader of Russia, Vladimir Putin, to the center of attention. As one of the world's richest men, Putin is said to be worth $160 billion. He lives like a king with his extraordinary wealth. Let's get to know what's inside Vladimir Putin's billionaire lifestyle. Property V The size of Putin's latest home is nearly double Buckingham Palace's 123,785 square feet. Property V owned the classical-style palace during its construction, and the newspaper speculated the V stood for Vladimir. Upon reviewing the report, it appears that the estate belongs to a highly connected Kremlin official. There is a claim that the sumptuous residence belongs to the Russian Federation. However, the report claims this is a cover used by those who own palaces and penthouses associated with the government. Neither Putin nor someone close to him owns the property according to the report. Putin's spokesman has not responded to the Sobosednik claims, which are the latest in a series of reveals about his wealth, health and private life. It has been suggested the Russian leader is being attacked by information from foes on an unprecedented scale. According to publicity blurbs, the newly constructed palace offers a new standard of country living with impeccable style and the independence of serene nature in Greenfield Village. Several billionaires live in it, and it is characterized by stately residences, reminiscent of country castles. Located in the middle of a vast forest, the village is surrounded by beautiful parks, boulevards and fountains. It was said that the village once housed the most expensive house in Russia, owned by a Jordanian billionaire before the palace's construction was complete. Adding to that are his lavish mansions. In recent years, Putin has been linked to multiple properties, with some claiming he owns more than a $1.78 billion worth of properties. One of them is a luxury pile complete with helicopter landing pads and its own vineyard called the Galenjik Palace, which is worth 800 million pounds, $1.4 billion. While it was originally designed as a modest holiday retreat with a swimming pool, it has now been transformed into a beautiful country residence with an 18th century columned facade. There is a golden imperial eagle perched on top of the massive wrought iron gates leading into the courtyard. An impressive range of amenities can be found inside, including formal gardens, a private theater, a landing pad with bays for three helicopters, and additional accommodation for security guards. There was also a report in 2017 that Putin bought himself a luxurious holiday home near Russia's western border with gold-plated tiles. The Villa Selgren is located in the Vyborg Bay, just 19 kilometers from the Russian border with Finland. Although it is officially claimed that it belongs to close friends of the Kremlin, local sources tell that it is the latest prestige home in a stunning property portfolio that allegedly belongs to Putin himself. There is also rumor that he owns a Dhaka in the vicinity of St. Petersburg, as well as an Altai Mountains retreat that belongs to Gazprom, as well as apartments in the Moscow area. It is also possible to find an official residence that is located in the Novograd region. It is named Valdai, Uzhin, and Dolgi Borodi, among others. Expensive Watches As a result of his lifestyle, the Russian president keeps being cited for having ridiculous amounts of money. Fortune reports that Putin wears a $60,000 Patek Philippe perpetual calendar and a $500,000 A. Langer and Sona tobograph, both of which are worth $60,000 each. According to a report carried by ABC News based on a video released by Russian opposition group Solidarity, Putin owns luxury watches worth $700,000, about six times his annual salary. Occasionally, Putin gives peasants and factory workers watches worth thousands of dollars as gifts. Additionally, in July 2017, his Patek Philippe watch was auctioned that was said to be owned by Putin. According to the accompanying documentation, he was the owner of the watch. It was reported that the president owned five Blancpain watches in the past, but gave away one during vacation to a Siberian boy and another to a factory worker who requested a keepsake. Car Collection It's estimated that Vladimir Putin owns more than 700 high-end cars. These include luxury limousines and extreme off-road vehicles. Kalinas, which are worth around $10,000, have been on his road trips with him. After his public ride down a new Russian highway, 
he basically did a car commercial for them, discussing their performance, their efficiency, and their comfort. President George W. Bush was also famously driven around in his 1956 ivory-colored Varga, a luxury sedan. Whenever he wants a workhorse car, he prefers Auros, such as the Senate, which costs around $200,000. Putin's Auros fleet could rival even one of James Bond's cars, since it is probably equipped with bulletproof glass and probably rockets. A car in Putin's Auros fleet could be more powerful than one of Bond's. A slime tank, Auros Cortez, is a tank made specifically for him. With seven tons of armor, the car has the capability of enduring an explosion without causing the president's life to be at risk. It has an oxygen source that can shield him from chemical attacks. A car with an AI system can also make a last-second maneuver to avoid collision. He would also be completely safe if he were completely submerged underwater for several hours. In case the car is ever captured, a secret hatch in the boot of the car will allow Putin to escape in a safe position in his seat if the collision seems impossible to escape. The car is also equipped with a secret hatch that provides an escape in case it is ever captured. A whole host of features have been kept secret, so missiles may be a very real possibility. The Putin mobile apparently cost $1.7 million. Lavish Wardrobe Valentino is one of the suits that Putin uses very lavishly, citing it as one of his favorite brands. Additionally, a Russian government-owned publication titled Russia Beyond the Headlines confirmed Putin's preference for Kitan and Brioni brands as suits brands. Each of these is made by a tailor from start to finish and costs 5500 They each take dozens of hours to complete. Although with his watch, yacht, and private jet collections, that amounts to little more than pocket money. Furthermore, Putin knows about paparazzi and has planned ahead to stay hidden. His stylist, who has been styling him for a decade, rips off all the labels from his clothes to ensure they do not catch journalists or paparazzi's attention. Despite this, Putin wore a set of Aluro peony silk and cashmere blend sweatpants that cost $1,425. The outfit cost Putin a total of $3,200 when he paired this with a matching top. Art Collection Over 1,000 masterpieces by Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Rembrandt, and other Renaissance artists are rumored to be housed in a $2 billion art collection in an ordinary apartment block in Moscow's city center. The elderly owner of this priceless treasures, Nina Moleva wants Russian President Vladimir Putin to inherit the entire collection. It is not known what the artworks are, but police guards say they are there to protect them. State officials also confirmed the statement. A passionate collector, Ivan Grinyov, the grandfather of Moleva's late husband, amassed the collection through European auctions at his previous stage artwork at a local theater. It is said by Moleva that Grinyov managed to hide his collection in the attic during the Russian Revolution. Apparently, Rubens, Velasquez, and Van Dyck's paintings were still in the flat when Maleva and her husband won the right to move back into it in 1968. The collection was estimated to be worth $2 billion by Paris-based auction house Hotel Drouot after the fall of the Soviet Union. There is, however, long-standing controversy among Moscow's artistic community regarding the collection's authenticity. Although the provenance and authenticity of the collection are unclear, Vladimir Putin will inherit it regardless. As the family always planned on leaving the artworks to the state, Moleva opted to name the president as an individual beneficiary in her will when her lawyers asked her. Secret Girlfriends Several reports indicate that Putin's secret girlfriends also have more than a few rubles in the bank. As Vlad's love child's mother, Svetlana Krivonogich, is a former cleaner who has become a millionaire in a short period of time, owning one of the most popular clubs in the city. In addition, according to reports of leaked tax records, the gymnast lover of his own earns millions of dollars a year as a pro-Kremlin media boss working for a pro-Kremlin publication. An exposing report in the media suggested that former Olympic gold medalist Alina Kaveva is earning an estimated salary of 7.78 million pounds, 13.9 million dollars per year. What do you think of these lavish lifestyle of Putin? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.